Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I do a whole bunch of unboxings on my channel and today we are going to be unboxing an Ipsy mystery bag. So this is one of my episodes where I bought it so you don't have to. That way you can see exactly what came inside of my mystery bag and you'll have an idea if it's worth it or not to you. This one is going to be a little interesting to say the least. So this is going to be an Ipsy mystery bag they created a full-size edition bag and they said it was a complete mystery. So we would be receiving a bag that they've had it before in previous months and then they would fill it with variety of products inside of it. So I am supposed to have five full-size products in here, one mystery bag. This combo retailed for $30 plus I did have to pay taxes on there as well and a $2 handling fee. The crazy part of this is that when I go into the app, it appears that this has sold out because it's not even on the website at all, but also it is not in my order history. So it's very bizarre. I have the confirmation email that I ordered this, but when you go into the Ipsy app, it's not in my order history and it says that I never even ordered it. It's like it vanished. It's just, it doesn't exist anywhere on the website. So I have this in though, and I ordered it specifically to share on YouTube, so I'm still gonna share it with you guys. In hindsight, I kind of wish I would have ordered like two more of these, only because since these are complete mystery bags, I wish I could have had a variety to show you guys whether or not it's different products or if they were all the same bags. So I kind of wish I, I was kicking myself that I should have done that, but I didn't. But we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna see which bag we get and we're gonna see what products we get. But for this review, I just just don't have the retail value of what they estimated it was going to be so we're just gonna hope that it's a good bag it's usually pretty nerve-wracking to begin with when you buy the ipsy bags because they're not always as good as what you would like them to be so then to go blindly into this not knowing if you're even gonna get a cute bag out of the deal it's like way more stressful this is what my bag looks like today so we received an ipsy plus bag this is one of the drawstring bags and i think it's cute i like this pattern i love the color I can't remember which month this was. Was this an August bag? Comment down below if you guys remember which month this bag came from, but I think it's overall a cute drawstring bag. So this is the one that I have, and then I have my products all inside. So it looks like I have five full-size products. So the first one that I have is a palette. This is from Hip Dot, and this is their Witchy Warms palette. This has nine shadows inside of it, and some of them are matte, some of them are going to be glitter. This palette I have had before, and it is very neutral. I ended up including this in a giveaway, only because it's a little too neutral for myself. So there is a mirror up here, but it is broken. There's a nice crack along here, but Oh, well, we won't worry too much about that. It looks like the palette itself is in really good shape. So this is what our eyeshadow palette will look like. Really good size pans. And like I said, it is a warm palette. So this is definitely, it's more neutral for me that I'm just not much of a brown person. But this is something that I'm sure a lot of other people love. Next item that I have in here is from Araceli. This is their Las Flores Blushes. This is the Dahlia and Lila blushes. So this is a duo product. It is cruelty free and it is vegan. They have such gorgeous packaging. I just received this blush from Ipsy a couple of months ago because it was one of my products that I chose. I love the designs that they have on all of their products. It's just beautiful. So this is what your blush will look like inside. There is a mirror. And then these are the two blushes that we have together. I find that it's more of a blush bronzer duo. It's just a little bit of a warmer brown. So even though they are both considered blushes, I think one of them is actually more of a bronzer. Next item that I have is from QMS Medio Cosmetics. This is their Pollution Shield Eye Serum. So this is a full-size product inside of our box in here today. This brand is way expensive. Like, this is like 111 Skin, Avant Skincare. I'm meaning this product alone, even though it's an eye care product, it's probably $150. It's just very pricey. 
I don't necessarily agree with the price tag, but it's what they put on all of their products for charges. So it is an eye cream. This is going to take down any puffiness that you might have. It's also got a cooling applicator tip to it, so it will help to awaken and make that under eye area look really brighter. This is what the product itself will look like. And then this tip down below will look like this. So it's real soft. It's like a silicone applicator at the top here. And then it's got a cooling effect to it. So that way when you're pressing this on and putting it in place, the tip is also working for you with the product at the same time. Next item that I have in here is really small. I think this might be in the wrong box. This is from Do Tube. And it says, do you hydrating lip gloss. This is a lip gloss. Okay. This does not seem full size. And this is supposed to be all full size products. This is one and a half mil. 1.5 mil in here. There's, there's no way this is full size. What? Seriously, there, there's no way. There's no way something this small is considered full size. I mean, look at this. Like... Th this just doesn't even compare. So this is in the shade Petal. So we're gonna look at our lip gloss here, but already I feel like I, I need to complain to Ipsy about it just because I know I paid for a full size bag. This bag was $30, like I said for it. So I should not be spending $30 and then receiving a sample sized lip. That's just crazy. So we're gonna do a quick swatch of this though. I do wanna check it out and see what our color looks like. Definitely glossy. Woo, look at that pigment. There is a lot of color with this gloss. So a lot goes down, lots of color, and there's definitely a shine there as well. This is a little too intense for me. There's a lot more going on than what I would care for, but I do think this is a great fall color at least, so I do think that's nice. But I definitely... I will double check this. I will look it up when I'm off camera to verify that this is indeed full size, but I just, I can't believe that this would actually be a full size product. I wonder if I'm going to have any issues with this because it's not showing up in my order history. I really hope not. I hope Ipsy is like, oh yeah, we absolutely see that you bought this because I did buy it. How else would I have it? I mean, really, it's not like Ipsy sends me anything for free. Last item inside of our bag then today is going to be from Dew of the Gods. This is their clay date. So this is a clay mask, I feel like. It's a pink clay mask. Okay. So this is going to bring out any impurities and kind of detoxify your skin then. Anytime you have pink clay involved, it will really help to draw impurities up to the surface of the skin. So it helps to unclog your pores then and remove it. But then this also says that it's going to nourish and hydrate your skin at the exact same time. This I know is full size. This is a good size box. So that is everything inside of my Ipsy mystery bag today. Overall, my thoughts on this are is that one, I actually had more fun not knowing what I was going to get. So I hope Ipsy brings these back just because I thought it was exciting not knowing what my products were going to be, not knowing what the bag was going to be. It was just way more enjoyable. I do feel like you are definitely getting leftover products. So I would not go into buying this bag thinking you're getting new products or really expensive ones because these are all products we've had previously with the Ipsy bags before. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but just keep that in mind if you do purchase it. As far as did I get my money worth today, on paper, I'm sure I'm way over the value because like I said, this QMS product is ridiculously priced. I feel like though with if somebody offered me all of this for $35, $36, $7 for this, I feel like I would be breaking even. I might pass on it just because of the brands that I do have here. And especially because I don't think this is full size. So I don't think this is a great deal, but I don't think it's a terrible deal either. So comment down below you guys and we can chit chat all about our limited edition. No, it's not limited edition. I'm so used to these being limited editions and this one isn't. But comment down below, let me know what you think of the mystery bag. Let me know if you ordered one of these as well because apparently they sold out since they're not on the website anymore. But let me know what you thought of yours if we got the same products and we can chit chat all about it. But until next time you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye guys.